What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and Happy New Year. Today I want to go into a new year without any regrets and right now this tablet is making me have many regrets. Let's talk. So you might be a bit confused as to why I'm saying sorry to Huawei. I am a big fan of Huawei, a big proponent. I shout out all their hardware all the time. But for every mobile phone that I review from Huawei, there is always the caveat that software wise, because of the Google issue, it just isn't compatible enough for the Western market, particularly here in the UK. Well, I made a blanket statement in my previous first impressions video of the MatePad Pro and I regret it because ultimately I was wrong. There is no caveat. What do you use your tablet for? Can I ask you personal questions? Do you use your tablet for Google Pay, Android Auto, connecting a smartwatch? Google location tracking and Google timeline. No. Yeah, me neither. So <laughs> that doesn't work. Do you download apps such as Instagram and WhatsApp and Google Maps and everything else on your tablet? Yeah, me too. So Instagram is Instagram. No issues. Um, what else do we have? Let's check. WhatsApp. Let's just go to my WhatsApp. WhatsApp is WhatsApp with the Average Dad members chat. Please feel free to join. Join button below the video. So ultimately what I'm trying to say is all the apps work absolutely fine that you'll need to use for your tablet. That's streaming, Netflix, Paramount, Amazon Prime, uh, Apple Music, Spotify, Productivity, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Excel, all the Microsoft Suite. Social media, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram. It all works from the tablet like it would on any other tablet. So again, Huawei, I am sorry. You have not only made one of the best tablets as far as hardware. The screen, and I've been using it a few days now, 144 hertz, 1000 nits brightness, one of the sharpest resolutions on any screen. Just outstanding. Consuming content is almost second to none. I've been using the Tab S8 Ultra for over a year now, and I do love that device. But I have to say, there's a slight, slight difference between that and the Huawei. And the Huawei just edges it as far as screen resolution. And then there's the speakers. I've mentioned it before. Consuming content using the built-in speakers is its almost freaky how good the speakers are. And the amount of bass they get from this thin device, obviously this isn't a case just now, but the device is only 55 millimeters thick. So, yeah. Ultimately, what I'm trying to say is I use the Aurora Store and G-Box to download every app that is available on the Google Play Store. Because it's a tablet that doesn't leave your house, you don't need Android Auto and Google Pay and all the other things I mentioned. What you do need is those apps, which you can get. What you also want is notifications. And in a shock turn of events, for Instagram and WhatsApp, all my notifications are coming through on time. I have linked my WhatsApp to my main phone and the Instagram I've just logged into as normal. Delighted. Absolutely delighted with this. The only regret I have is that it's not mine. This and the accessories, the pen, the folio case, the keyboard case, they aren't actually mine. And right now I am kind of regretting that because I maybe didn't mention the, the actual price in the last video. But if you wanted to import these from China, that's the tablet, the pen, the folio case, the keyboard case, for all of that, you're looking at roughly eight to nine hundred pounds. 
say a thousand bucks for all of that. If you do a comparison between all that kit with the iPad Pro, you're close to 2,000 bucks. And this is half a terabyte of storage as well. With the Samsung, you're about 1,800 pounds. This device is basically half price compared to its competitors. And in a lot of areas, it comes out on top. So I will drop my full review very soon. I just wanted to get this video in before the new year to say Happy New Year, sorry Huawei, and thank you. Thank you for getting this channel to 14,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I am absolutely delighted. I am privileged. I am thankful, grateful, all of the superlatives that you, you could want. I love making these videos. I love doing content on devices from China and kind of off the beaten path. It would be very easy to create a YouTube channel and just do iPhone videos all the time. But who really wants to see that? And that's not what I'm passionate about. I love off the beaten track tech. I love foldable devices such as the OnePlus Open and other phones available from other markets. So if you're into that too, please smash subscribe. And for the 14,000 of you that I have already, if I could see you all, I'd give you a nice big smooch. With consent, obviously. So until next time and next year, please take care. Have a good new year.